Alright, hello boys and girls, moms and dads, welcome to Here's Modern School Academy. This is 5th grade social studies, week number 18. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about culture in America, which is going to be made of arts, music, and literature. Uh, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is called painting the American progress. So in 1872, uh, somebody painted an art, his name was Joe Gast, he painted an art known as the American progress, and he was an allegorical female which represents the American manifest destiny, uh, the westward expansion of America. So what you can do right now is to tell your mom and dad to type into Google search and search for the American progress. Okay. In fact, let's try to do that right now together. So if we were to go right here, um, this is our website. So you're going to see our school over here. Well, let's go ahead and type into Google the American or painting American progress. All right. So tell your mom and dad to do that. Well, you're going to see a picture like this, okay? It's a picture of a woman that is uh, literally traveling westward and a bunch of people traveling with her. And it talks about the uh, westward expansion of the United States. Okay, so the name of the person who painted it was called John Gast. All right. Another um, historical art which is worth talking about is called the Yankee Doodle which is an American patriotic nursery rhyme which was written somewhere between 7 and 75 to 7 and 76 during the battles of Lexington and Concord uh, Britain made control most got control of Boston but in June 1775 George Washington took command of the Patriot Army and the song was written after his arrival Firstly, to mock the Americans, but later on, he turned around to actually praise George Washington. All right, so we're going to sing the song together right now. You're welcome to turn to YouTube. You are going to see the words over there. And let's sing Yankee Doodle together. Yankee Doodle went to town and riding on a pony. Stuck feather in his cap and called a macaroni. Yankee doo doo, keep it up. Yankee doo doo, dandy. Mind the music and the steps, and with their girls be handy. Father and I went down to town along with Captain Goodwin. There we saw the men and boys are sleek as hasty pudding. Yankee doo doo, keep it up. Yankee doo doo, dandy. Mind the music and the steps, and with their girls be handy. There was Captain Washington upon a slapping stallion, giving orders to his men. I guess there were a million. Yankee doo doo, keep it up. Yankee doodle dandy. Mind the music and the steps, and with their girls be handy. Yankee Doodle went to town riding on a pony, stuck a feather in his cap and called a macaroni. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy. Mind the music and the steps, and with their girls be handy. And with their girls be handy. Oh, oh, Yankee Doodle music from Heroes Modern School Academy. All right, so that's an example of that uh, a version of that song, which you can literally get from anywhere on YouTube. It's called Yankee Doodle Nursery Rhyme. All right. Another thing that uh, we're going to talk about right now is Paul Revere, Revere's Ride Poem. So, in 1860, an American poem written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. It commemorates the achievements of Paul Revere, who wrote on April 18, 1775, to warn the Patriot leaders that the British were making an incursion. 
So a poem was written to honor uh, this achievement of this person called Paul Revere and you're welcome to click on this link to see the lyrics to that poem. All right. So what are the ethnic groups in the United States? Well, we believe that all men are created from one blood. That's what the Bible says in Acts chapter 17 and verse 26. And as a result, there is just one race of humans. There may be different ethnicities. You know, people use that term, you know, what race are you? Well, we are just one race <laughs> because we're made from one blood. But there are different tribes and different ethnic ethnicities. And that's the reason we are talking about it over here. Well, there is the European Americans, and there is African Americans, there is Hispanic and Latino Americans, there are Asian Americans, and there are Native Americans. These are the major groups that are uh, represented in America as of today. What are certain religions in the United States? Well, the United States is mostly made of Christians, even though there are other religions. And it is pretty evident that most American fa founding fathers were Christians as well. However, the uni United States it's, is tolerant of others with different religious persuasions. All right. So um, we're going to take a look at some of those things and try to make sure that you remember all of that by doing this exercise over there. So this, this is going to be a research exercise today. So the research is research similarities and differences between the various ethnic groups in the United States. Write a report about your finding. So you're going to ask your mom or your dad to find out, you know, you're welcome to create a table. You know, hint, you can create a table. Okay, uh, make one column similarities, or we'll make the first column um, ethnic group, make the second column um, similarities, let's say similarities, and make the third column differences okay you know, this is just a suggestion for you you can do it whichever way you want to do it all right so that's going to help you to do that research a little bit so please go ahead and turn to your workbook or help you or ask your mom and dad to help you to do that well that's what i got for you today boys and girls remember god cares about you and so do we bye bye i'll be your hero's body and as you study with heroes born